Hello, 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 everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Heine House. How are you? So good to see you. Thanks for being here. I'm getting my, let me get my cable straight here. Jeez. Got a rat's nest going on down there. <laughs> hello, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Thanks for joining me on this free play Friday. Feel good Friday. We're going to be playing a brand new but retro looking game today and you know this is a game that's tugging at my heartstrings all right y'all know this is gonna do this to me a flat shaded polygon arcade racing game looks like virtual racing as you guys know i'm a sucker for these types of game and actually there's actually not a whole lot of games that look like this. I think this is a an art style that was, well, I don't think, I know this was an art style. This was a technology art style back in the early 90s that Sega pioneered, and, and Atari for that matter too. I give them credit as well by having flat shaded polygons. And it was really just a sign of the time, sign of the era that we were in. This was the future of gaming. The games looked like the future of gaming. And we hadn't seen flat shaded polygon 3D looking games like this before. Uh, so the early 90s, what a brilliant time. It was wonderful. I remember it fondly. I remember playing virtual racing for the very first time and putting in $2 worth of quarters, which seemed like I was there for an hour just putting quarters in. And that was a lot of money in 1992, 1993. And uh, man, and I don't, I don't even think I did a whole lap in virtual racing. I just I couldn't even finish a lap, but it was so fun. So as such, games like this, they're they're just fantastic absolutely fantastic and, and you guys know i did a good chunk of the soundtrack for hot shot racing that's coming out soon very much in the same vein it looks like this uh inspired by all the great arcade racing games from that era so this is an honor and i'm really excited so i want to give a shout out repixel 8 the developer of this game uh sent me a copy of the game to play and to show and i would like to draw attention to it I have a link down below where you can click and take you to the Steam page. So if you like what you see, please support indie developers. This is a great, great time to do so. Um, and also, if you really like what you see, you can enter to win this game. I'm going to be giving this game away at the end of the show. All right. Scroll on down too because that link is there as well. You can also just type exclamation enter with however many uh, tickets you'd like to purchase. You can use your Heine House loyalty points, the drumsticks. And uh, you can enter. It costs 60 drumsticks to enter. There it is, E-Dub. Thank you. Or you can just type an exclamation giveaway in the chat, and that will take you over to the page. All right? So let's play. Let's have a little fun. Let's check it out. And, uh, yeah, let's go. I'm all for it. Let's do a little uh, arcade just to jump right in. Looks totally like the old school racing games of the day. Let's just start right at the top. Uh, let's just, I don't know, let's... I guess we'll start at beginner and work our way up. Bunch of different colors for the... Uh, the For the formula car here. Looks nice. I kind of like, uh, to be honest, I kind of like this little light, light blue and gray, almost kind of teal action. Let's go with that. How you doing, E Dub? How's your Friday? Nice. We had pizza today, too. It's a pizza day. I mean, Fridays are pizza day. Come on. Absolutely. All right, so I definitely can see there's drafting, which is nice. There's the drafting. Love all the retro text around. Try to draft and get up here and get around. Has some uh, 
almost 8-bit chiptune style kind of music here. Almost sounds a little like Codemaster games. Early Codemaster, like Micro Machines. And let's see if we can... Oh, sh... Oh. I tried to try to get around that guy. I had a little... Oh, oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. He pit me out there. Dirty. Hopefully that was him back there wiped out. Hey Andy, how you doing, man? Yeah, it is super smooth. Um, the game is locked at my monitor's refresh. And uh, so yeah, it's running buttery smooth at 144 hertz right now. 60 for the stream, of course. I have it locked at 60 there, but it is no problem at all. This is great. Peachy in the house. What up? Good to see you. How are you today? Hope you're having a good Friday. Peachy, did you have pizza today? Come on. We all, I want to know who had pizza today because I feel like everyone's having pizza. That pizza gang. One, two, three, kid man in the house. Good to see you too. Yeah, this is, this is great. I'm really liking it. This is my, Really my first uh, course here, so we're kind of getting a feel for it. As you get closer, you get right in the draft there. All right, I'm making my way back. Oh, eight laps, too. Nice. Almost like endurance, like half endurance style. I like it. Pizza rolls. That's what I'm talking about. It counts. Absolutely counts. I love it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I was so close. All right, we took the lead there. Let's just try to maintain now. We've got, we got to hold this for three more laps. I tried to move my camera up out of the way so that it I guess it's covering up how many laps I'm on, but oh well. <laughs> I went into practice real quick just to see where all the text was laid out, and I moved my camera accordingly. <laughs> but that's not—that's actually a good spot for it. It's not bad. I'd rather have it up high than down low on the track, so I'll just leave it there. Oh, am I going to lap people here? Yes. These people need to, they need to power down here. So you actually, what's interesting is I'm trying to see how much speed I lose when I cut a corner really hard. Whoop. The da most dangerous thing is drafting. Even though that helps you get a speed boost, man, you, you run right up. Right up on him. So you got to be careful there. What up, Chopper Dave? Uh, no, this is not. But it, it, it's definitely inspired. It, it's funny. Is uh, This game looks very much uh, like it, right? The flat shaded polygon. Now, this is another uh, indie developer. Uh, Repixel 8 is a developer. And uh, the game is on Steam. You can pick it up. And uh, yeah, I wanted to wanted to play it, give some love to it. Always, always down to support indie devs. I actually heard about this game maybe like a month ago. I saw it uh, come through on my Twitter feed, and I was like, "I'm like, bro, I'm like, I wrote him on Twitter. I'm like, this this is amazing. I was like, I, I'm doing the soundtrack to Hot Shot. Like, I get you. Like, you and me are on the same page. Like, I love this style. I, born and raised, you know." And uh, he was like, oh, sweet, sweet. And I was like, hey, dude, you know, if, if you, you know, you're looking for any soundtrack work, you know, like I can lend a hand. But the game was, I didn't know the game was only a month from coming out. It was already done. But uh, way cool. Way cool. I'm always, I'm always down to. Even this, I'm grooving on this right here. This is dope. Deep in the house. What's up, dude? Yeah. Select 
All right. We'll just kind of go through them here. That was City Loop on Beginner. Let's just go through. We'll start with Beginner. Get our stars. Let's go with Big Pank. I like that. Let's go. Start your engines. Roaring start. All right, here we go. Beautiful, too. Love the skybox. Super retro looking skybox. Oh, oh boy. Coming in, a little sideswipe action there. Again, bear with me. It's my first time playing the courses here. We're gonna, we're gonna figure them out. Still figuring all the controls and everything out. Yeah, folks, and if you like what you see here, whoop, I have a link down, down below. You see the, the thumbnail of the game. I have a link to his uh, Steam store where you can purchase the game. I encourage every oh, everyone to do so. And um, if you want to try to win this game, I'm giving away a copy of this game at the end of the show. Big thanks to the developer, Repixel8, for giving me that key for this. Very nice. All right, so you kind of just feather... You feather fanga through there on some of those corners. All the info on the giveaway is is uh, down below too at the uh, the loyalty page. Yeah, I'm liking this. Super smooth, very nice. Good old fashioned fun. Ooh. I gotta figure out that corner. Gotta gotta let off the throttle a little bit early. We have three different camera angles. Okay, so we have a, like a chase two. We have a, a cockpit, or I guess yeah, I guess hood hood cam, which is very nice. Has a good field of view. I like it. Chase cam and then chase two. Those are always those are always things that I ask. What are the camera angles? That, honestly, folks, the camera angles can make or break a game like this. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there we go. See? On the break. I like it. Sometimes racing games have a camera angle that's too low. I'm... I'm Okay, I guess I'll say it. You guys know I'm kind of an F, like a, a, a frames per second snob. I'm also kind of a camera angle snob a little bit. And if the camera angle is too low to where I can't see what's in front of me, and then they like they force me to use first person just so I can see what's in front of me, like that's a problem. And oh yeah, see I, I didn't hit the apex ride on that one, but. Damn, the AI is tough. I mean, I'm on easy, and I'm still five laps in. I'm third. Well, I guess I did wipe out earlier, but it's all good. Duke Magnum in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, the drafting is very aggressive. So once you actually get in the draft, you better be prepared for that slingshot. That's pretty much what it is. Okay, I just tried something a little fancy there. I took it, took it wide, and then just cut over almost kind of blindly, not looking at who was. Yeah, see, not good, not good. We'll get it. Yeah, man, absolutely, dude. I always appreciate you being here. Thank you. Absolutely. That was actually not bad. That was not bad. That lap, I cut. Cut some corner. Uh, taking that cut. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 
Love it. Love it. This is great. We need games like this, folks. We really do. We need games like this. Look how beautiful it is. The blue and the green. It's just the colors. They pop. They're vibrant. It takes us back to simpler times when it was just all about fun. I get so nostalgic when I play games like this or like when I feel this way. It's great. It's great. To start to memorize kind of bits of the track. I love that the brakes are aggressive too. You know, they're, they're, you slam on them and boom. You really slow down. You can take those corners. You can brake late. I love it. Love it. Uh, great, great question there, D-Putt, actually. Um, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. The game at launch, uh, which it launched this morning, it doesn't support wheel or pedals just yet. I have seen in the um, community hub on Steam that uh, the developer is working on support for wheels. So that is coming. So great news. And I am absolutely going to be returning to this game when that is uh, official. Get it, get it on the sim rig. Oh yeah, absolutely. Percy in house, good to see you too. And you know, you, I couldn't have said it better myself. Prefer the high contrast, colorful retro look over realism. There's just something to be said about it. It's really just a very nice, pleasing look. All right, Ocean View, that was Ocean View. Let's jump into the GP circuit. Switching up some of the colors. Some classic virtual racing schemes right here. Let's go with that. Oh boy, look at this corner. Wow! I should have looked at my mini map. That mini map. That was uh, quite a cor quite a corner. All right, here we go. We got to focus. We're getting more technical here. As I just completely annihilate that car in front of me. Go. Oh. Y'all didn't know this was all... Oh. Oh. <laughs> no one saw that. Destruction Derby. Wow, that's a very technical lap. All right, let's do what we can here. I don't even want to draft. I'm too nervous to draft. Look at that corner. Gosh, it's fun. That's fun. Try to go wide here. The grass really, it really just stops you, you know what I mean? Which it should, right? It should. Can we just clip? Can we clip? I wonder if going on the, uh, just the edge of those corners, not the grass. Oh, that's fun. That's fun to break on that corner. Uh, the car absolutely does damage. I think if you hit, if you hit a vehicle too hard, like I'm probably about to do any second here, it will, uh, wheels and tires will fly off and your car will explode. And then it just, it respawns you. Tough. You have to work really hard to try to get around these guys. The homie Chanch in the house. What's up, dude? Rocky in the house. What up? It, it is super clean. Looks very, very nice. It runs buttery smooth. It's great. I mean, you, you know, I, I would like a game like this, right? I mean, come on. Chanch, you would you would love a game like this. <laughs> Y'all know. All right, so there's actually first place right there. I'm on lap four of eight, so we've got four more to go.
Uh, I'm currently doing automatic. Don't worry, we will do testing on manual after. We'll see if it uh, holds true. We get a few few more miles an hour out of manual. Might actually help me with my uh, braking on the corners and stuff too. Dude, I, I can take that corner flat out. I know I can. If there wasn't cars there and I came in at the right angle, you know, the angle, the dangle. Whoop. See, man, a slingshot. You have to like get in it and then get out. That's a fun corner. Now that you know how to now I know how to do it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to get this corner flat out. I think I can do it. They're gonna what? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, boy. R wrong angle, but still, I think you can let off that corner. Let off and kind of just coast through it. The drafting is basically like you just kind of, kind of criss cut through there. Trying to figure out my break points, that's all. Let's try this again. Okay, lift. That's it. Oh, I went a little too far left. But yeah, you can lift through there. Just kind of coast through there. Yeah, that's the lap counter over there, left side, underneath my cam. I'm lapping these dudes. Oh, whoa! Dude, dude, oh, did I just terrorize that guy? Oh no, he's, he's still good. Uh, quick update on that there, Chanch. Literally 30 seconds before I went live tonight, I finished all the transfer on my new hard drives onto my turntables. So as I'm sitting here, they're actually importing right now, importing and processing. And honestly, probably even right now, it's been about a half hour. They're pretty much done. So I could even, and I was talking about this earlier, I could maybe even do a little practice stream, a session, DJ set, maybe tonight after. If y'all are feeling it, if you're going to be around, I don't know. I, I could maybe do a little... I'm a little rusty, you know, but we're going to get into it. Have some fun, so... I don't know. Holler at me if, if you guys are going to be around later or whatnot. Maybe we'll do a little uh, test stream. Because I think I'm pretty much set up and ready to go. All new cameras going. Turntables. We got the mixer. Yeah, everything's looking looking solid, so... Sounds good, John. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, the AI. The AI is a little, little, little touchy there. Oh, yeah. It definitely can hit you and spin you out. I'm definitely gonna need to, oh, I'm gonna need to practice this one a few times for sure. Another super technical one.
Mm. Absolutely, Deepad. You absolutely should. Let's let's come together, man. Let's support these indie devs. I have a link down below. You can click the link, take you to the Steam Store page. Pick it on up. Trying to dart in here, trying to dart on that apex. Bless you. Coming in hot. I like the song. It has, like I said earlier, it has early, like, Codemaster, NES vibes. Ooh, only five laps here. Oh, oh, dude, that's happened multiple times. When they hit the back of you and as they pit you out. That's a, that's a little weird. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't support me or anything here. No, I, this was something I wanted to do for him. Uh, so I reached out to him and uh, told him that I would be happy to stream and send some traffic his way, just to show some support, you know, for the indies. Um, he did give me a, a a CD key for Steam that I'm going to give away if you guys enter the giveaway. So you know what you may want to do is uh, enter the giveaway and see if you win it. Uh, and then if, if you do, awesome. And if not, then you can just go over after and buy yourself a copy. That would be rad. Rad sauce. Thanks, E-Dub. There it is. Exclamation giveaway in the chat. I don't think I'm gonna place here. And on beginner, these guys are uh, pretty brutal. I've had some bad corners, there's no doubt about it. Oh, like that. <laughs> well, actually that kind of helped. I kind of bounced off in there. The corners are fun though. It's it's like super technical. See that one, I need to, I need to remember to stay wide. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't blow up on that one. Hi, Mina, 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 Mina. Good to see you. How are you tonight? I have to restart that one. Boy, oh boy.
Dude, I love the award music in here. It's grooving. All right, we're gonna try that one again. Wow, six on beginner. That's right, it's right, it's right. We're going for big blue. What up, Kyle? Kyle in the house. Uh, no, this is not. This is not. This is from another uh, indie developer who uh, also was is feeling the uh, flat shaded polygon racing love. That's why I thought it was so cool. I wanted to play it tonight. Yeah, this is another game. Uh, Repixel 8 is the developer. It's on Steam. And wanted to just draw some attention to it. But you bet your ass when Hotshot Racing comes out or close to, I'm going to be streaming it. Oh yeah, it's going to be a big event. This has been like almost six years in the making for me, you know? So we'll be talking about it. <laughs> we'll be talking about it. All right, I think that corner quite a bit better. Staying wide, staying wide. Oh yeah, full throttle. Look at that, took that flat out. The hardest part with, you know, with any of these racing games is it's a shit. Just to try to get around the AI at the beginning. And the AI. Oh, that was clean. Not so much there. No one saw anything. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna let's just restart it. Let's just go right back in. Um, I think it might be you, Kyle, because I... Everything looks good on my end as far as stream is concerned. No lost frames, no packet loss. Everything looks good over here. AI is, uh, they're, they're aggressive. Even on beginner here. They are aggressive. Oh, damn. Dude. I'm telling you. I wasn't even in that guy's lane, was I? See how they dart right there? They kind of just, they get, like, back in track. And what's nice about a game like this from an indie developer that just came out is that like i'm gonna play this for a while and i'm gonna be keeping like mental notes and i'll provide feedback of good constructive criticism for it and hopefully in like updates or patches they can implement it you know what i mean like that's the best kind of feedback dude and i'll, I'll be honest man i'm the one to give the feedback for games like this i play a ton of racing games And I, I, I'm happy to do that. I want to see people succeed. I want to see indie developers succeed, and I want their games to do well. And I want them to make money. And I want them to continue making games and being creative. That's what it's about. All right, not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. Better. Not great, but just better. That's a fun little whoop de whoop through there. Little release of the throttle. Cut across. Oh, that's such a fun area to go through. Oh boy, coming in too hot, too hot, too hot. Okay. All right, not bad. The AI does a weird wobble right there. Do you see that? At that specific spot in the map? They do every single AI vehicle does it there. I notice these things. I remember patterns. I'm a drummer. Whoop. I don't really remember the pattern of, uh, you know, ramming into the back of the cars.
Oh, I tried to I tried to cut that. Try to just clip that. That was my chance to pass him. All right, I got two laps to get three places. Can I do it? We'll see. I like that they have a lot of laps too. It's like a, it definitely lets you play the game. Oh, there's first. Okay, here we go. Shit. No. When in doubt, oh, tap that brake. Kind of ugly. See him dart back there? See him wobble? Right around that corner. It's like the, the path of where the AI is drawn to drive. Like, accidentally left like a little wobble in it there. Uh, this is a blast, though. This is so much fun. I love games like this that require you to memorize the course and then apply the memorization of the skills to figure out the entry points and breaking points where it becomes about l learning the game, right? It's, it's fun. It's so fun. It's like a puzzle to me. Hitting these corners right, flat out. Oh, yeah. So satisfying. So satisfying. Hard on the brakes. Sexy. That was, that was actually probably my fastest lap. We'll, uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, look at that. By two seconds. Or by one second. It's nice. One oh three forty. All right, all right. Big parp. Let's go big perp. Oh boy. Daytona. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, eight laps. We we can do this. Let's power down. I almost I almost wish that the uh, the drafting space was. A little further back, a little longer, or or you didn't have as much speed in the draft, like because it's almost too aggressive. Like you can't even figure out what to do. Like once you get in it, you better turn out of it. We'll go first person for this. All right, D-Pud. Thanks for entering. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we'll do a giveaway at the end of the stream.
Yeah, let's go smoke him. Smoke if you got him. This is, this is where I really wish I had a wheel so I could get really fine-tuned on the analog input. It's like trying to hold your thumb and just barely touch it to, to be real precise is tough on the joystick. It's better than nothing, but definitely prefer wheel. Third place, here we go. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? They've done a really nice job. I got two laps to get up here and catch this guy. Try to keep it low. Cut off, shave some time. There he is. Can we do it in a lap, folks? One lap. There it is. Custom cars, paint schemes. Um, I don't know yet. I don't think so. I think it ha gives you a bunch of default paint jobs, but we'll go look. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Mina. And that is part of the inspiration for this game is the good old Virtua Racing. <laughs> KO game. Let's um. Let's take a look, actually. So arcade, eliminator, free practice. Let's see if we can do anything in free practice. And I'm gonna test something too. I'm gonna go in the speed oval. All right. So D Putty, answer your question. It looks like these are these are the color, the color choices you have for the vehicles. Looks like you can't do any customization. Nice. Whiteout. Mountain Dew Whiteout. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm going to go into this map and I'm going to pick manual. Now, usually, a little trick in early arcade racing games back in the 90s, what they would do is if you used manual transmission, it was harder to use, right? But the reward that they gave you was that they gave you more speed so that you could go faster uh, and do better in your times. Let's see if that little Easter egg, that little nugget of info is in this game. It may or may not be, but we're going to we're going to try. A lot of games did that. Virtua Racing, Cruising USA, uh, Rush, a, a lot of those games did that. Okay, I'm in 6th gear, 7th. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It turns red. Let you know when to shift. Very cool. Okay, 7 speed. 295 was where I topped out at. Sure enough. Look at it go. Look at it go. 305. Look at it go. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, manual transmission will get you about 10 more miles an hour. That's... That's actually huge, especially in a course like this. 
I'm going to come back in here with manual and see if I can get a better time. I bet you I can. Oh, you go 305 down the little hill there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's let's jump back in. I love it. Let's go. Let's go green. The green machine. All right. Let's see if we can get around him now. We can smoke him. Oh, that was a little weird. It went from went from fifth to seventh. That was a little odd. I did that in practice too, so there's a little glitch. Mental note. Holland, Holland. See how fast I go on the draft. If I can get the draft. Come on, get it. 330, holy shit. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Wow. That's excellent. It's hard to draft on the corners because the AI is a little too twitchy and you have to try to compensate. You know what I mean? Like it's it's almost not worth it because you go by so fast. They slow up. See how slow they are in the corners? And then they speed up. Big time. There's also no look back in first person. I'm hitting a look back button and I'm not getting that option. So there's something that should be addressed. Just even a quick flip, just like boom, boom, you know, to look back. That needs to be here, especially in first person when you can't see your sides. That needs to be implemented. Mental note. Yeah, you know, just giving great feedback, you know. Yes, you do. You should. Such a great game. I mean, I don't know if you ever saw it. This was years ago. I think I sold it in 2013, but I used to actually own the real arcade of that game. I had it at the house. Then I had it in the garage for a while, and I think I don't think you ever came over and saw it had your dad over a handful of times though you really got to pick the right spot to draft you can't just get in behind these cars and do it on the corner it almost would be quicker just to Stay low. Like they say in Daytona, stay low in the turns. Try to go easy on the car. Watch that rear bumper. 
All right. Nice. I'm sure I did better on the times on that one, man. There's leaderboards. Where are we at? Oh, I'm eighth. Eighth in the world. How about that? Three forty six twenty four is the record. I mean, I'm only. I mean, four seconds. I'm four seconds off. That's not. That's not horrible. It's awesome. All right, Desert, let's jump in. Let's try manual. Let's work on that. Start your engines. Okay, something's up with the shifting. It skips... It skips sixth gear sometimes. I just noticed. It's happened a few times now. What a cool course. This looks so nice, too. I love the desert. Desert landscape. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Yep, I basically just took him out. And I apologize for that. See right there? It skipped from 6th and went right... It went right... What the hell's going on here? Okay, something is weird with the shifting. Oh, that's what's happening. It's it's on a... Oh, th okay, he needs to fix it. It's on a... Uh, when I hold the button, look what happens. I actually hold it, and it cycles them automatically. It's not a one-button press. Oh, man. That's a problem. Hold on, I actually, let me make some notes here. I'm gonna start forgetting some of the stuff. So, what was the first, okay, so we had first person, rear cam, we had AI, wobbly, And some maps. I'll go back and make sure to write down which map that was. Um, shifting. Manual. Cycling gears. Issue. I'll expand on that in the email. Okay. No, this is good. This is good feedback. Gosh, I want to use manual too because that I'll be able to be way quicker in the corners. Just downshifting real quick and then power out with an upshift. Like, okay. Have to use automatic though. I can't do it if I'm gonna miss gears. Oh, see, like right there, they're wobbly. Weird wobbles. Just have to do a little break in here. 
It's a fun map. I like this one too because the the road is really wide. That is appreciate appreciated for sure. Cause sometimes, man, it gets a little too narrow and Yeah, see two ninety five. See I can't pass this guy. I don't have that uh, that extra little umph there. Whoa! <laughs> yep, that happened. No one saw anything. I'm second. This is a great game, though. I really am liking it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm the blue shell. Whoa. Love the colors too. The water over there, the light blue water, the dark blue sky, the desert, yellow and orange. Gosh, beautiful color palette. Just pops. So nice. I can't wait till the manual transmission is fixed, man. When that happens, I'm going to come back through here. Be able to get really fast, solid times. Thanks, dog. Yeah, I'm figuring them out. I'm figuring them out. Trying to mem memorize them. Get my breaking points. Oh, oh, that was sexy, too. How about this one? Okay, not bad. Little clip, little super cuts on the corner there. Just a little off the top, a little off the sides. No big deal. Made it through. I'm going to lap them now. Here we go. Sure does. A little wobble there, just across the finish line. Oh, oh. Did I just do that again? I that's twice. That's two that's two AI I took out, and I apologize. I'm really surprised I'm not blowing up on those. Cause I'm like, seriously, I'm hitting them extremely hard. Like,
GG. You see all the cars right to the right of T? See how they how they weave right there? Okay, so this is desert. Wobbly AI in the desert. I don't remember what the other one was, but we'll note it. No, Tung Boyle, this is not it. This is... <laughs> I know, everyone's asking. I know it's been a long time in the making. This is not it. This is actually from a uh, another indie developer, Repixel8. And it's on Steam. It was released today. I wanted to play it, give him a little, little love, a little promo. You know? I love these games, as you know, so... Oh, wait. Unlock track at 125 points. Do I just have to play them again? Or I guess I did them all in... I guess I could like do them in advanced, right? Oh, bonus multiplier times two, times three. Oh, cool, I just saw that. Just noticed that. We'll try it. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hi, Chanel. Good to see you both. Music a little low on your end. Is it low for anyone else? I can turn up the game. A little bit. Okay. Well, let's just let's just turn it up a little bit, huh? Actually, let's uh, let's do it in settings first. We'll go up. Tell me if that's any better. I don't know if that did too much of a difference, to be honest. How about that? Went up a little bit more. Is that good? I'll play a little bit. You let me know. I want that manual for like right here just to creep by him. I need that manual transmission to work. Taking the inside there. Trying to just get right behind him, 
one car to the next. You really have to decide when you get in that draft, it's slingshots, and you better be prepared to pick. Are you going left or are you going right? This is great. Love it. Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> Chanel, you're getting you're getting quick with the uh, Apple TV remote on the uh, the text type in there. I gotta give you props. You're really moving and grooving. <laughs> uh, there is no multiplayer in this. No, I'm not sure if that's gonna be added later. Well, actually, hold on. Let me after this. Let me look. Let me just double check because I don't think I saw it on the main menu. But I'll I'll double check. I don't want to I don't want to speak incorrectly here. There might be because I know there's obviously leaderboards, but we'll see. the fastest cart you've ever seen full of fruit snacks and squeeze its and lunchables my junior high self intensifies <laughs> yeah I've had a pretty solid lap See, I wanted to go inside there, but I knew I could see he was going right. Not gonna, not gonna take that one. Yeah, they were expensive, weren't they? I loved them, though. I loved them. What I needed was like a forty ounce of them. The little tiny bottles they came in just was not nearly enough. They were good. Damn, they were good. Boom. Cheese Whiz, but only on Ritz. On the Ritz crackers. Alright, that was a solid lap. Solid race all around. Do I get my points now? Times two? Wait. Okay, I was like, where are my points? 160. All right, Forrest has unlocked. What about this? At 200. All right. Let's do our beginner. Let's get our points. We'll go red. To represent the cherry squeeze its. Y'all know. Oh, Forrest. How about where's E Dub? She's loving these trees. Looks nice. I like this. Whoa. Don't swerve at me, bro. Gosh. Oh, I like this. It's like dirt on the sides, like it's raised. This is gorgeous. I'm loving it. Inside, inside. Taking the inside. Oh, hard on the brakes. Woo! It's 
Somehow I made it through that. Oh, that's a, that's a solid lap. I like this course a lot. This is good. I'll say it again. The tracks are wide. That is that is key to making um, racing feel very rewarding. Because if it's really narrow and you can't you can't shoot for a corner, you can't take an apex, you can't overtake. Like you you're just stuck behind a car the whole time, and there's no real clear way to attack. That's not any fun. So having having the uh, oh wow that was that was weird that was a little dip right there. Having um, the track be wide like this is is very very nice. I like it. What up, Hat Trick? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, the game doesn't support it at launch, but the I've talked to the developer, and uh, he has said that he's working on it and an update shortly after launch. So, good news. And when it is supported, I am coming back. This game will be amazing with the wheel and pedal. You know it. Real fine tune. It is not Hat Trick. This is a, uh, a game from another uh, indie developer. Repixel 8 is the developer. And uh, I reached out to him, wanted to show him some love, and I said, hey man, I'll stream the game. And uh, if you want to do a giveaway, I'll even be happy to do that. So he supplied me with a Steam key, so if you like what you see, Enter the giveaway. I'll be giving it away at the end of the uh, stream. Exclamation giveaway in chat. And, you know, just trying to show some love, man. Show some love to the indie devs. Especially games like this. You know, I love stuff like this. This is, this is my jam. And I know a lot of people like these types of games, too. So, uh, And if you happen to, to enter and not win, I still encourage everyone to go check them out. There's a link in my description down below. There's a picture of the game's icon. And there's a link to the Steam store. Support them. Check it out. I don't make anything extra on it. I, I don't benefit from anything there. I'm just trying to show some love. That's all. But you bet your ass when my game comes out, that Hot Shot Racing, we're going to be playing it. Oh, yeah, we're going to be playing it. Follow my uh, social media and Discord and all that because I will be posting about it. I will be... This is like six years in the making for me, right? So, we'll be talking about it. This is such a great course. I love this one. There's a little weird dip in it to where the vehicle... It almost like the vehicle doesn't connect all the way to the ground. It almost kind of like bottoms out. I think it's, I think it's coming up on this corner. Let's take a look. Right here. Oh, I didn't do it that time. There's a little weird corner in there. Oh! Well, <laughs> I, I really tried to just flat out that corner. Oh no, it's right here. It's right there, that's the corner. I'll have to make a note of that too. Just draft right into him, right across the finish line. <laughs> um, you use your loyalty points, which you earn here from just watching. For every 10 minutes, you get 10 loyalty points. They're drumsticks, is what we call them over here. And it costs 60 drum sticks to enter. And uh, if you if you scroll down and click the link, it will take you to a page that shows. If you if you're a new follower, you get um, you get some extra ones. If you're a sub, you get some extra ones. 
if you host, you get some extra ones. So there's there's ways to get more drumsticks. But basically, just hang out and watch because, uh, yeah, you earn them just from watching. Loyalty, loyalty points. What up, Brave Racer? How are you? Good to see you, too. All right, let's see who my point points are at right now. We're almost there. Let's go back. Let's just knock out... Just knock this out, expert. I'm an expert. We'll see. We'll see if it's headshot bots. You know how it is. Oh, here we go. Whoa! I was a little close to that, dude. All right, let's let's put on our let's put on our uh, expert pants here, because I have a feeling that the AI is going to be super duper on rails. So I'm going to try to draft get in and then just get away from them if I win this if I get first I get times what times three on the points I should unlock the last one to be honest we got this we got this handled the pizza gamer what up hey thanks for the follow um yeah it's always a great day for pizza we've talked about this today E-Dub and Peaches and Steph and I, we all had pizza today. It's Friday. It's a pizza day. So I love your name. Pizza Gamer in the house. Good to see you. How are you today? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm in the draft. I'm nervous. I got to stay wide. I cannot take the inside. He's going to be there. Even though I'm cutting it. Cutting in. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ins oh, that was nice. That was a nice draft. Oh, expert has. Look at the time. You have way less time. Okay, so that's what it is. On top of the AI being difficult, more difficult, you have way less time. Look at that. I have like six, seven seconds left when I cross the finish line. Basically, if you wipe out or crash, it's over on expert. So that's good to know. Come on, let's get in the draft. Let's go. I'm trying. Look at that. Four laps to go, and I'm fourth. Oh, come on, get in there. If I had a manual transmission, I'd be right. I'd be in the draft already. You really have to draft an expert. I almost feel like automatic on expert is you can't go fast enough. It's not enough. You're like right on the cusp of not finishing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have no idea how bad we want to get back out and do thrifting. It'll happen. I have two laps to get first place. And he's right there. I mean, it's just on the straights. I can't catch him. I'm not fast enough. I have to do it in the corners. Oh, did he wipe out? Did he hit that green car? 
Oh, no, I guess not. I thought he did for a second there. Oh, he got held up. He got held up by that red car. Oh, please don't hit me. Oh my gosh. Come on, please, 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 please. Last lap. The time is running out. I know I'm automatic. I'm not manual. Come on. Inside. Let's go. Don't. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Wow, that was close, man. It's tough on automatic on expert, straight up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my finger hurts. I'm, I'm holding down throttle so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I have a chance doing these on um, advanced, but I think an expert without a manual transmission, it's going to be really difficult to do, but we have just unlocked mountain. So let's jump in. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice color palette. You can already tell. Whoa. Looks very, very nice. Oh my gosh, look at the uh, map at the right side of your screen. Look at what I'm about ready to enter. Good luck, everyone. Oh, what? I just got, I just got ram ranched. Wow, cool course. I like it. Don't hit me. Um, how about just a little more wawa? A little more wawa, please. <laughs> Thank you. What can, I, what can I say, Tongue Boy? I'm a hot guy. I'm a hot guy.
I don't think I'm going to have much luck gaining some positions here. This map is uh, brutal. Squeaky clean. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> I'm restarting this one. There's no way. You have to have a really clean first lap to even even place. Okay. And also, make a quick note. Start. Starting too close to AI. Making just a few notes, you know? Try that again. Start your we are again. You basically have to just evade right when you right when you start. Like, come on, man, really? Wow. I wish I was on rails too. Brutal. Brutal.
Hey Pete, what's going on, man? Yeah, this is the, as you know, this is the last course, and I'm just playing on beginner, and it's like pretty damn near impossible. And it's really all just comes down to the AI and being how they're just so on rails and unforgiving. And my manual transmission on a controller is broken. Is it the same for you? If you hold the button down, it, uh,. It just shifts all the way up to like seventh gear. I think the only way to play this game is with manual really to get the best times, but I can't use it because it misses gears. It'll shift, it'll shift up into a higher gear because it's not like one press is one instance. It's like you hold it down, it goes all the way up to like three, four, five, six, seven, and then back down. It's really weird. Hmm, it's weird. I wonder why it's doing that for me then. Shit. There's no way I'm gonna even get, I'm not gonna get top three in this course. This one's nuts. Gorgeous game though. Wasn't it nice and refreshing? Love it. Oh, you played Xbox One version. Okay. All right. I'm on PC, so that, that might be the difference. Makes sense. Look how quick they are out of those corners. It's impossible. Yeah, what I'm finding too, Pete, is that they're, um, like when you overtake and then you get back into your, your spot to prepare for your entry on the next corner, they, they're like hyperspeed, ram right into you, and then just pit you out. That's happened a handful of times. Wow, sixth. Not even, uh, not even place in top three there. Yeah, this one's tough. Beautiful course though. Love it. Let's try it again.
Oof. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. They, they may be different versions or different builds, maybe. Very interesting. Oh my goodness. Look at them shoot. Wow, they're just so fast. Wow, look at them go. Headshot bots. <laughs> Mm, might be. Wow. Let's let's get off the wall here. Oh. Ugh. All right, this is the best I've ever played, so I'm going to try to focus and see if I can get get up here. Oh, that was a nice corner. <laughs> yeah, this this course is something else, that's for sure. Look how far ahead they are. It's like, there's no way. Oh, what's up, Hotshot? How you doing? Good to see you. While I am doing a giveaway of the game, the developer was kind enough to give me an extra Steam key, so if you want to enter, you just use your loyalty points to uh, enter. And all best of luck to you. Fourth, geez, brutal. I'm, I'm gonna try that one again. Insane.
Oh. The drafting too, man. The drafting, it's so aggressive. So aggressive. Oof, 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 oof. I feel like the only way to do these corners is in manual and switch into the right gear. Just downshift, upshift, just hit, hit the apex and then downshift into the right gear. But I can't, I can't do it on this build. Take a look. Yeah, it does. So wait, on your build, where does it appear? Okay. That's interesting. So he must have given me a, uh, a, a different build, an early build or something.
What the hell? Did you see my car just flip out there? I, I didn't hit anything. So this is the most current one. I can't get above four, that's for sure. Okay, well that makes sense then, yeah, because my manual gearbox is definitely broken. Unfortunately. I'll show you what it does. Alright, so check this out. So I'm in sixth gear right now, right? And I switched to seventh. But watch what happens when I when I press when I press X. If I just tap it barely, like really lightly. It shifts, but if I hold it down for anything longer than a simple press, look at it. It cycles, it just keeps going up. Like it's not a one one gear press, unfortunately. And it pretty much makes it unplayable because if you, you shift into a different gear, uh, you know, by accident. And you go really slow. Oh, there's a crash. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> does your uh pete the version you played when it starts does it have you spawn like <laughs> does it have you spawn like or when the race starts like really really close to ai as well What up, Nostalgic Dan? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> oh boy! Later, alligator! And you know what? You know what's great about this, though. What's great about this is that you know it's an indie developer, small team of people. It's not just one guy, as far as I know. And like, I've been I've been jotting down notes of things that are going on. And like, it's great to give feedback. Like, I am so excited to write up an email, like thanking him. He, like, he gave me the CD key to play. You know, gave me one to give away to the to the chat. And it's like, you know. We'll give it some love, we'll give it some props, but then also let's play it and test it. That's pretty much what we're doing. And uh, giving great feedback will help him improve the game. And uh, I, it's, it's great. I just think that's awesome to be a, you know, a part of it to like help out. I really like that aspect of it. I love the play test kind of, 
Oh, shit. I mean, even though the game's out, I still think it's... You definitely can patch it and improve it, you know? And I'm going to provide a lot of feedback because I love... As you know, everyone knows, I love these types of games. Like... These are so great and need to be celebrated. Yeah, the spawns need to be fixed. Making notes. <laughs> These games are my ham. Is, did that come from uh, the from uh, Miss I Who Do I We or is did that is that from I Who Do I We? Shot, I see that what you have written there, and I will read it as soon as I'm done with the race. It's hard to read long, long ones, but I will, I will read it. Whoa! See, like the AI just came out of nowhere there, in his on his rail.
Into the ocean. Not bad. Not bad. Ah. What up, Chad? Call of Asgard. Now it's good to see you too. I have not seen that movie, but it did look interesting. It's about the history, right? It's about the. Is it about the Le Mans racing? Something like that. All right, let me go. Hold on. Let me go up here and see. See what Hotshot said up earlier. By the way, have you heard Arcade Racing Legends? Yes, I have actually. I have. Um, I'm actually following the developer on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, I've been following the progress there. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm definitely following it for sure. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I'll have to watch that movie for sure. Wait, I do? Wait, I really? I didn't even notice. Hold on. Wait. Which one? This one? I don't see where I don't see where I did it. That'd be cool if they all were cross-platform for sure. Okay, sweet. Hell yeah. We're grinding. We're working it out, man. I'm down. I'm down to do low leaderboard shootout. I mean, let me get in here and do it without the AI. Get the AI out of here and let's have a, a solid race. <laughs> That's what I should be doing, right? I should be coming in here doing the the time attacks. A little, I mean, they have that, right? For leaderboard time attack, don't they? Oh, there's points. Points. Okay, it just shows. 
It just shows in points. I don't really care about the points. Why would the points have anything to do with it? I don't really care about the points. I want to see the times. Why can't I see the times? Weird, I don't know. Nice. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay, so free practice won't... I'm saying it won't let me do the times. Just practice. So you have to do it in the arcade.
Super cuts. It's a little off the side, please. Thank you. I really like the, um, I really like the courses in this game. They're nice. I like the layout. Oh, when you cut, when you cut someone off there and you clip the front of their, oh, like that. And you clip the front, man, it just sends you right into the wall. Right into the wall. Oh shit. Try to just try to just clip clip through those corners. That corner always screws me up. I always have something going on in there. Not bad. Gazebo in the house. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Great to see you tonight. How are you doing?
Let me just get off the get off the wall there. See if we can get a solid lap in here now. No one in front of me. That felt fast, guys, not gonna lie. That felt fast. That lap, 101.41. Look at my time. That was pretty good. All right, let's, we're not out of the woodwork. Let's see if we can beat it. Oh, shit, there's cars in front of me, though. Fuck, there it was. I had a solid lap with no cars in front of me. Uh, sure, I wasn't drafting, but I, I hit my apexes just right. Corners were clean. I don't know. We're going to check those leaderboards after this. 101.41. Oh, I'm looking at chat now. <laughs> you know how it is. Trying to anyway. All right, let's see what happened here. One oh one forty one. Was Monte Carlo, right? Ooh, second, second. I mean, that's pretty solid. I'll take that. Five twenty-seven. Oh, this is. Oh, total time. This is total. Oh shit, dude! I could have beat that. I fucked up like at least two or three times where I hit the wall. Easily screwed up many times. Dude, I had that. I had that in the bag. World records. That's total time. I think I can do it. 52749 Should we go? Should we do it in big blue? Automatic, not even manual, the faster version? Cheer me on, chat. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. World record shit. World records.
Any big screw ups like that, I'm restarting. Start your Let's do this. We got this. It's going to take me a little while, but I want to get a solid, clean race all the way through. I want I want perfect corners, and I'll even accept a little little bump and grind like that. I'll accept that as long as it doesn't stop me. Ooh, that was nice. That was some nice drafting. There's some drafting. We just gotta get out from under these cars at the beginning. It's annoying. It's really annoying, but we'll get up here. We'll get through it. We're gonna draft from car to car here. Shit. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Start your engine. Working on it. Oh, fucking clean. Not so clean. Fuck that corner. I gotta... Man, I have to lift. I have to stay lifted just a little bit longer. I really want to try to cut it. Like that. Yeah, like that. Just wait. Just coast through that corner and then power down right at the end of the apex of it. Oh, I don't need I don't need to lift on that corner. Holy shit, I just realized that. I do not need to lift there. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I can save some time doing that. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Now that I know that, I honestly could probably shave another maybe half second or more off in the I mean, I probably could.
Polyester, what's going on, dog? Good to see you. Shit. Oh, no. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I learned something. I learned something new. Which excites me. I don't need to lift on a corner. I can take it flat out. Here we go. We got this shit. We got this. I feel confident about it. I feel good about it. Once we just gotta get the right pattern. We just gotta get the right pattern around that AI. Once I get around this first lap with the AI being the way they are, once I can do that. We're golden. Like, check the drafting. That's the pattern. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm still going with it. I'm still going with it. I'm going to just rock with that one. I'm going to rock with that. I'm going to hard break. Try to take the inside. Try to take the inside. Here's my corner. There's not a lot of sound effects in it now. It's basically just the engine sounds. That's it. Hmm.
That's what you do. You cut on the inside there like that. Yeah, that was a nice corner. Now don't fuck me up. I'm still gonna rock with that. I'm still going with that. I'm in I'm in the draft. Right quick. I'm going with that. Oh you fucker. Oh you fucker. Woo. Yeah, sign up for the giveaway, folks. I'm going to be giving this game away at the end of the stream. Use your drumsticks, your loyalty points, to uh, enter. Buy as many tickets as you like. Oh, that was solid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, ah, dang, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good, was it? I had such a beautiful start. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We got this. We're on it. God, I had such a great lap there. Great lap. So good. CFG, what's up? What up? Duke Magnum, no, not a silly question at all. Great question. We have loyalty points, a loyalty system in place here at the Heine House. For every 10 minutes you watch, you get 10 loyalty points, or, and we call them drumsticks. And uh, I, I, I actually, I started doing this back when I was doing my drum covers a long time ago, and uh, I brought them back. So... As such, you can redeem them for fun things like giveaways and uh, other stuff that will come in the future. But for right now, you can use them for uh, the giveaway that's happening today. It costs 60 drumsticks to enter. And it gives you a ticket, and you can buy as many tickets as you want. Type exclamation giveaway. It takes you to the, the page that talks about it. be awesome if you entered if you like this game you want to play it the developer was kind enough to send me a code to give away give to the community here oh don't hit me bro okay fine i'll draft you then put me in the draft let's go let's go let's go let's go 104 not the greatest lap <sighs> i'll rock with the dough i'm f pretty much going in first place here Oh, okay, okay. I have to lift slightly. Just slightly. That's okay. I can do that. I like this course. It's got a lot of really fun technical bits to it. I don't know how I made it through that, but we're going to just celebrate it.
Don't know how I made it through all that, folks, but we're celebrating it. Like that, just lift. Don't need a break, just lift. Damn it. I cannot believe I messed that up. Came in at the wrong angle in that corner. Yes, sir, you are, Percy. Absolutely. The winner will be notified uh, via Discord, for sure. So that's a great reminder, too. If you've entered, please join our Discord. That's how we'll uh, communicate, and I'll give you the key. Thanks for hanging out, Percy. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful night, sir. I'm going with it. Whatever. I'm just going to rock it. I'll play it again. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is fun. Dude, I, I love doing this, dude. And just the fact, just knowing that I'm so close to the world record, like very, very close, gets me very, very excite much. Oh, that was a great corner. Oh, inside, inside, hard on the brakes, trying to, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get around him. Let's get around him. Let's get around him. There we are. <sighs> oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? I don't know how I did that. I just I just kept the throttle on. I didn't even stop. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, boy. oh we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, on the brakes. Oh, if I wanted to break there, I would have lost it. That would have been the end. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, shit, man. Damn, I tried to go the inside. Tried to go the inside. We got this. We're working on it. <laughs> I know. I probably could. I probably could. I just, I'm so particular. Like, I, if I know... I messed up and I know that I could do that and not mess up. I'm just like, want to restart it so bad.
Uh, yeah, you would think. You would think. Definitely, um, the collision detection is a little a little weird on some of it. You know what I mean? It just requires you to uh, really try to fight to not touch anyone. I'm trying. It does not, polyester. It has online leaderboards. No, I'm good, thank you. Timothy, I see that you wrote me something there, bud. I'll check it in just a second. I'll make sure to respond to you. Ugh. We gotta watch that. I'm in a uh, very close race to get the highest or fastest lap or time on this track on the leaderboard. So I'm like really like powering down. Oh, that was such a clean corner. Oh, that was too. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. All right. All right. Here we go. Fastest lap so far right there. Look at it. 101.15. It's my fastest lap. Let's go, chat. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, that was so close. Another ream of rubber on those tires, we would have hit the corner. That's right, we're still good, we're still good, I'm taking it. I'm going with that, I'm still happy with that. Look at that lap. Still, still fast. Even with that wall hit. 101.80. Not, not amazing. I had a weird... I panicked and let off the throttle, but I still didn't hit, so we're okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Give me in the draft, give me in the draft. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, I lost two seconds there. That could have ruined it. I'm still going. I don't care. I'm going to finish this out. I'm not going to stop. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. I still can draft these guys. Make up a little time. Draft, come on, get it going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I was under 101. I think I was under on that. I was. Yes. A minute point five on the boards. On the boards. Let's go. That's right. Knock him out. Bring him out. Bring him out. Do that map. Woo. Did you see those corners? Some of those I skinned so close. And not only that, oh, holy fuck. Wait, 510? Whoa, 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 whoa. Was I going up against 527? Whoa, 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 whoa. 51031, what? Oh my. Insane. Insane. Yes. That was so good. Dude, a couple of those corners where you have the little chicanes, you basically power through and pray to God that those cars get out of your way in that chicane because you're going so fast through there. You try to hit the apex just right. Oh my gosh, man. There's some, like, there's skill, but there's also some luck with that AI. And then you lap them. You come back and you lap them. And then you have to deal with them again for another lap and a half. Insane. Oh, dude, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. That was that was sick. Unreal. All right, hold on. Hold on. We had we had the homie Duke Magnum. Uh, let's see. No, we had Timothy. My man says you were, saw you were live, want, needed to head out, has to go to work, want to let you know. Use the merch mug every day. Hand washing that, baby. Yes. Uh, Timothy, you probably already left. But if not, thank you for your support ordering the merch mug. The Heine House mug. Dude, yes, I appreciate the support. I hope it, in, I hope it uh, aids to your, your coffee time in the morning. We definitely use ours too. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go in here and look. Duke Magnum, thank you with the cheers. Absolutely. Yeah, world record, dude. And that's not even like. That's not even like um, a second or two. I was thinking like, oh, I can do that in a second or two, bro. I hit a wall. I hit a few walls, right? I messed up a few times. I could probably shave another like half second, maybe get that under a minute. I think I could get that under a minute if I really, really tried. That was that was bonkers. Let's look. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know when I send my letter to the to the dev and I'll be like, hey man, had a great stream. Got some great feedback for you. Had a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, check out that Monte Carlo Hill. Legit. I mean, racing games are my ham. My jam. Good stuff. A lot of fun. Well, folks, we're pretty much there. That what a great, what a great way to, to end it and do the giveaway. Right on the dot here, nine o'clock. Let's give let's give this game away. I, I'm I'm stoked. I'm excited to do it. Are you guys ready? 
Are you down for it? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give everyone uh, a few minutes here. If you want to enter, please do. Scroll on down. Click click the link. It has the picture of this game, the icon of this game. That takes you to the page where you can enter. Or you can just do it right in chat. Let's do it in chat. Like, here, let's go ahead and let me do it. You just typed exclamation... Oh, wait, where am I at? Where's my mouse? Hold on. Don't worry, I'll, I'll enter one, but I'll, I'll make sure that if I win, I don't I don't get it. Because I already got it, right? So you do you exclamation, enter, and then you type in the number of tickets you want. However many tickets you want, boom. It costs 60 drumsticks, 60 loyalty points. And then you get your ticket in, just like that. Boom. Oh, hotshot fan with two hundo. Oh. Oh, we don't have enough points. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like he's going to town. You can check your points. Exclamation points in the chat. That is how you check how many points you have. Ah. <laughs> oh. Hey man, it's all good. Just keep, you know, you keep watching. Keep coming back. Always come back when I'm live, right? You know, just keep watching because for every every uh, ten minutes you get ten. Nostalgic Dan with the uh, the number one rank. Oh yeah, you already got some. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this game is this game is dope. Love it. A lot of fun. Lots of fun to be had by everyone. Okay, let me let me pop on over to the uh, let me pop on over to the page here. Let me turn the volume down just a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Everyone in? Everyone got their tickets in? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. We're gonna do a drawing. Currently, ten of you have entered. Ten of you, amazing. Friends have entered. Ooh. This is a big one. This is a big one, folks. 234 tickets have been purchased for this giveaway. Yes. A lot of tickets. Gazebo, I see you're living on the edge there, brah. With one ticket, my man. If you win, that'll be fucking awesome, man. Just one ticket? Like, what are the odds, right? Odds are stacked against you. But hey, it's it's roulette, man. You never know. Everyone gets put, put in there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Are you guys ready? Here we go. We're gonna give the drawing. It will it will show us exactly what's happening in chat. Are you ready? I, I have two tickets in there just by accident. It's just a show, so hopefully it doesn't pick. It better not pick me. All right, I'm going to close the giveaway right now. Giveaway is now closed. And here comes a winner. Drum roll, everyone. Let's give a countdown. Five, four, Three, two, one. Percy Havoc, Percy. Congratulations, Percy. Won the giveaway with a 44% chance. Percy Havoc, my man. He had to take off early, but he will be notified via Discord. He is in the Discord community. Congratulations. Yes. I appreciate all of you. 
for entering. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Repixel8, the developer of Retro Formula Retro Racing. Incredible. Love the game. I think it's a uh, games like these need to be celebrated because they are a slice of, of retro that, you know, during a time arcade racing was at its height. And uh, this is such a nostalgic love letter to those times. So it's great. I have notes with feedback. I have a lot of great feedback to give uh, the developer. And uh, I will um, continue to play this because, you know what? I want to start working on doing world records on these courses, bros and broettes. How about it? Dude. Solid. I feel good about it. All right. Thanks for watching.